This exploit takes advantage of a heap overflow caused by the user map script in Samba. To demonstrate this, I have Metasploitable2 running in VMware. And in order to obtain my IP address for this, I simply ran an IF config because I have access, although if you don't, you could nmap scan your network and gain your information that way. So my IP address on Metasploitable is 172.16.185.128. So, in order to know if Metasploitable is vulnerable to this specific exploit, we need to see if it is running Samba. So, in order to do that, we can target it with an nmap scan and get a readout of the services that it's currently running. And that'll usually take a minute to run. Okay. And if we scroll up here, we will see that on port 445 right there, uh, Metasploitable is running Samba version 3.x. And this um, particular exploit works on Samba version 3.0 and above. So we now know that Metasploitable 2 is vulnerable to this exploit. So with that, we are now ready to launch into Metasploit. And Metasploit is the actual program we will be using to execute this exploit. Okay, now that Metasploit is launched, because this is focusing on the user map script in Samba, we have to actually specify that that's the exploit that we want to use. So, I have to set that. like that. And now that that's set, we have to identify the host, which in this case is Metasploitable2. And like we saw earlier, uh, Samba runs on port 445, so we also have to set that. Okay, and with both of those set, that's all the information that you need, and you are now ready to exploit. So that will run through, and once it's done, there we go. I now have a command shell session 1 opened, so I now have root access onto the Metasploitable machine.